breaking news yes. coming in uh, from our colleague Rahul Srivastav. Rajnath Singh to continue as party president for now. He will, however, join the cabinet, uh, tip to get the, 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 the home portfolio. So that's clear. But he will remain party president That's for interesting. Now. That is interesting because maybe that suggests they have not been able to decide who the next party president should be. There was, there was talk, talk initially of, yeah. of um, no, there was talk initially of Amit Shah perhaps yeah, yeah, being given yeah, that role. Yeah. Uh, then they said it was J.P. Nadda. So is this delay because they have not been able to settle who the next party president should be? I think that's a very important piece of yeah, news. We're going to talk in about Rahul. that in just a little while from now. The images on your screen: Pakistan Air Force aircraft with. Nawaz Sharif on board. It's arrived at um, at the technical area of uh, of Indira Gandhi International Airport. That's where uh, uh, dignitaries land. Uh, we've seen the Mauritius Prime Minister earlier on. We've seen Mahinda Raj uh, Pakshe of Sri Lanka reach as well. And Nawaz Sharif, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, uh, we expect him to come out of that aircraft in a few moments from now. Uh, if I'm joined by my colleague Maya Michandani, who also joins us uh, at this stage. Maya. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of the occasion, in terms of of the imagery, uh, it's 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 always special when there is a, a Pakistani prime minister in uh, in India, uh, and and so this is going to be one way or the other, just irrespective of what is finally achieved, a very very important visit. So many people in Pakistan will be watching this, uh, and Nawaz Sharif has clearly taken a, a leap of faith in coming to India. Right. Well, Vishnu, not just uh, so many people in Pakistan, but also in India. In fact, one of the first things uh, that uh, struck everybody who sort of covered foreign affairs for a long time is the fact that the Ministry of External Affairs had to sort of move very quickly into overdrive. They've had a, a very little work for many months now. And Narendra Modi, before becoming Prime Minister, walks in, uh, announces this invitation to SARC leaders and, you know, the government to sort of, the ministry really making sure they're all going to be here. But yes, very important point that you've raised. Uh, Barkha has mentioned it earlier. So has Siddharth Badarajan in the studio. Nawaz Sharif coming here. Uh, let's not forget his, his acceptance of that invitation was about two and a half days in coming. We always talked about how he was keen to accept. He was personally inclined to accept. But there were divisions within Pakistan, particularly from the hardline military establishment. We also saw that attack on the Indian consulate in Herat. Was that a way for the hardliners sending a message to Nawaz Sharif saying you might want to go and talk to, to India, but let's not forget who really caused the shots over here. Uh, clearly sort of uh, is skewing the pitch in a sense, clearing the pitch for Nawaz Sharif when he comes in to Delhi. But all those things aside, are we looking at substantive uh, issues that India and Pakistan will talk about tomorrow? Not really. This is something which is a, a new leader in India, a Nawaz Sharif in Pakistan, both wanting to in, tell their people that they are firmly in control in spite of differences of opinion within their own polities, within their own constituencies uh, in their respective countries. So I think one has to watch for the circumstance, one has to watch for the colour, for the body language, for the reaffirmation of putting the India-Pakistan peace process back on track. For now, what we can tell you, as you pointed out yourself, that his aircraft has touched down in Delhi. He's going to make his way to the Taj Mahal Singh. We're standing across the road from the hotel his delegation is going to be at. Um, and he is pretty much free this afternoon. We're not quite sure how he's going to span out uh, his meetings for the day. He's heading to Rashtrapati Bhavan only about 5.45 this evening.